All right, no point having an intro because this run is very self-explanatory, so let's find out. Can you beat Blade and Sorcery Crystal Hunt with only the bow and arrow? The bow and arrow in Blade and Sorcery, simply put it, is not good. It's hard to aim, moving while aiming is guaranteeing a miss, and it's not really that much fun either. But still, it's a bow and arrow, so at least we'll have range to our advantage. Now, the rules. I am only allowed to use the bow and arrow, but if needed, I am allowed to use the arrows itself as the weapons, but only as a very last resort, and enchantments are allowed, like fire and lightning. Yeah, not a, not a lot of rules this time. Now that any further delays, let's begin. We start off our playthrough with not even being allowed to purchase our only weapon. You're welcome. Okay, can we even buy the bow? We can't. Okay, so what do we do? I think we just have to go in, question why Rampart's wrench is here. Okay, what do we do? Because we can't afford that. We have 100 coins. I think we just have to go through Dalgarian runes and just not attack anyone, because I think you can do that. Yeah. That's the best thing we can do right now. Or at least we can just... Well, we can't attack. I'm prohibiting myself from attacking anything. Unless it's via one of these. Okay, well, we have to go through a Dalgarian... We have to go through an outpost and just not attack anything. Sorry, don't mind me, don't mind me. I just need to steal your valuables. I'm gonna have armies behind me, dude. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, I can't attack anything. I literally cannot attack anything. Wait a minute. That was a bow and arrow. Hang on a second. Who shot that? You. Let's see if I can, hang on, I can try and get it, or at least try and get the arrows. Okay, just, just let me just take mine. Thank you. Oh, 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 robbed. Okay, we have a bow now. Hang on, so just all of you, just stay down there. Okay, if I see anyone with a bow and arrow from now on, like this lady, I have to hold her, take her quiver, and take the bow and arrow. Oh man, we gotta really make sure we're good about retrieving our arrows. It's gonna be easy. Oh no, what about the golem? <laughs> After hastily passing by the locals and robbing them of all their hardened treasures and weaponry, the run can finally begin. The bow did take some getting used to. Like I said in the intro, it's really hard to aim and not that fun to use, but already having the slow down time perk made the bow and arrow a lot easier and a lot more fun to use. That's a good song. Hang on, what is this called? Oh, that makes sense. I'm gonna add that to my... I'm gonna add that to my playlist. Okay, this is... This is either gonna be the hardest challenge I've done yet, or, like, borderline easy. I just really need to rely on my aim, which I can't rely on sometimes! Oh my gosh, point blank? <laughs> Why is she making those noises? Ow! Okay, Dalgarian rune, this ought to be interesting. How are we going to kill the golem? I mean, we can probably kill him with arrows, but doesn't mean it's going to be easy. As it turns out, it was. This was definitely the easiest time I've had destroying the golem in any of my challenge runs. The only hard part was just trying to get into position to destroy the nodes on his body. After destroying the golem and collecting the lightning spell, you know, immature people who are children, infant children, would just stand there and take it like a man. I'm not one of those people, I'm not like that. We get to move on to the highlight reel of the video because, say it with me now, everything you just watched is exactly what happened for the next two days. After burying the axe in the tree to start the run, here's what happened. Kiker, hi. Kind of a bad time, kitty, but hi. What? Meow. What? You... You meowy McMeow face. Employee of the month. You can be on my bed, that's okay. No, no, don't go down. Don't go down. No, stay up. Don't go down. No, 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 no. <laughs> Here, I'll make you a little bed. I owe the guy who gave me this challenge a shout out. So shout out to, I don't know his name, but he gave me the challenge idea. 
up to awesome for him. I'm gonna break my monitor, I swear. <laughs> then he holds up the hammer. <laughs> that moment when the white woman in the Mexican restaurant says gracias. Dude, I even let it. Say it to say it to him. Look what you did. Dude, the mod I installed that like freaking freaking yeah. You know the mod I installed? Hi. Oh, it does that. Hang on a minute. So if I get it relatively close. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what in the hell? Oh, his freaking headband blocked it. <laughs> yeah, sorry, the Karate Kid's headband blocked it from an arrow. Sings a song, sounds like she's singing. Aw, oh, you didn't have any weapons, I'm sorry. Got homing arrows, bitch. Navigated, bitches. <laughs> oh, dude, like, what was his name? Balax or something? From Borderlands 3, the teddy bear? That is a navigator? Shut up, bitch, you put me in a teddy bear. <laughs> Dude, Borderlands 3, best Borderlands easily. Hey, friends, I'm the progressive pigeon. Hey, progressive all you want, but at least they have good ads. Day by day, uh, people. Oh my gosh, they call me Hawkeye. See you later, stinky. <laughs> Oh, dude, this water looks beautiful. Look at that water, though. Holy cow, that is gorgeous. Dude, whenever I see water, it's just like, oh. And especially when it's good-looking water. Oh, dude, I like... <laughs> I have I have a gamer-gasm. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, if I ever merge in this one day, I'm putting that on a t-shirt. That's... <laughs> I'm having a gamer gasm. You can smirk all you want. That's a funny ass joke. <laughs> you walk up the stairs like you're 80. Walk faster. Oh! Freaking sent her to the shadow realm. Like, a falcon punched her with an arrow. Yeah, he's gonna prove. Watch this. Why <laughs> actually that it worked? Maybe we should try the new one. Sure. The mod. Uh, I'm taking it through the mouth this time. This is a lot better presentation than the other ones. Holy cow. Thousand? This thing? Huh. Well, nothing we can do about it now. Okay, so in the challenge, it, the guy did say throwing knives, so I, we, we gotta buy these. This is one of the items we gotta buy. Oh man, that's expensive though. Shoot. Is that even worth it? How well are- how good are these actually? Hit that. Oh, they're kind of bad actually. Because I tried these before and they're actually, um, kind of bad. I know it's part of the challenge that I gotta use them, but dude, like you're gonna see these things three times and never gonna use them again. Especially when they're that price. Then we put on our boogie shoes. There we go. Then we put on these braces. Ho, 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 ho. Right in the chin. Ooh. I've had my chin, like, torn apart before. That is not a pleasant thing to happen. <laughs> like, my babysitters were... Here, let me tell the story. Shut up, Rick Ashley. I, I was with, like, my babysitters, and, they, and they're like... It was these two girls that are babysitting me. This, this was when I was, like, six or five. And they had their boyfriend with them, and they dared me, like, Hey, I bet you can't beat my boyfriend in a race. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? I, I bet I can. All right, so I get on my little Wally tricycle. Right, and he has this, like, his freaking BMX bike. And uh, we went down this pretty steep hill that we had. Right, and I... Since it's, uh, you know, a Wally tricycle... It's not gonna beat a freaking BMX, but I, I tried anyway. So I'm like pedaling as fast as I humanly can. And I pat I paddle so hard that I pretty much barrel roll off of the tricycle. And I like say like this is like the road. My chin went from here to like here. Like that that kind of like thing just 
right? Completely screwed up my chin. I think I still have a scar on my chin. Like, I needed stitches, like staples and stitches in my chin. It was so bad. And on top of the fact that there was a massive Ford F-150 truck, that was, no lie, my head was right here. This was the wheel. Any closer, my head would've been crushed. That's what happened to me when I was a child. That was my first near-death experience. Hope you guys enjoyed reading time. Hope you guys enjoyed story time. Now, uh, today's assignment is, uh, gonna be le learning your ABCs. Alright, Zach? If you can... If you can count to ten for me, you will get a gold star for the day. Oh my gosh! He was looking kinda dumb with her finger and her thumb in the shape of a nail on her forehead. You stop coming and the don't stop coming. The ghouls on hit the ground running. Didn't make sense not to live for fun. Your brain gets smart, but your head gets dumb. So much to do, so much to see. So what's wrong with taking the back streets? Let me know if you don't go. You never shine if you don't glow. Hey now, you're an all star. Get the game on, go play. Hey now, you're a rock star. Get the show on, get paid. All that glitters is gone. Only shooting stars make the world. What is he saying? Dude, that awful green screen effect when he rescued that dog, though. Like, you can tell. That was screen screen. What in the hell? <laughs> oh, great heavens. You have no idea what's going to happen. <laughs> I was joking. I didn't think I would hit. Ooh. They're in sync. Look at them. Now watch this, right? I'm going to ruin it. Aww. No. Your friends are a piece of shit. You know that? Mm hmm. Tell them to do better next time. <clears throat> Tell them to do better. Stop raising your hands, you little silly. Here. Here. High five. Bye. Only I can miss two shots in a row that close. Okay. Okay. Something is wrong with me, and it needs to stop right now. I hit her, like, in that gap under your chin that like smoothly transitioned to the rest of your body that's where i hit her that's ridiculous I used to believe that's real watch this trick shot oh <laughs> i got him out oh my gosh dude <gasps> you scared the bull he's very scared now why'd you scare the bull what are you what are you looking i'm so sorry i i didn't i am i am so sorry i didn't think you were in the middle of something i'm so sorry <laughs> oh great so i lost the bow that we were just using so that's that's super awesome yep you see this this is when you you when if you go to you when you are you go you when you go to the you when 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 you are an duck. No, when you are an oh egg, egg. Okay, when you are an egg. Oh boy, I'm doing with the eye now. I don't know if this bow is gonna do all that well. Cause a lot of these guys wear helmets. I know the steel guy that we had constant trouble with is going to be not fun to deal with, but... I don't know. This thing is pretty much... I mean, with the arrows and the bow, maybe, we'll be a swapping between quivers, obviously. Alright, let's see. Oh, okay, we'll be fine. And just keep hitting him in the head. Oh, you saw how close that was? Oh, just got shot with a lightning bolt. Oh, this is the part where I go into the spiel about Iron Man being my, in my childhood. I just want to say all the touching comments I got. I do appreciate the support you support you guys gave me. It's like, sorry, I see, I saw a lot of sorry for you lost comments, and I, I appreciate that. I really do. It sucks that he's gone, but I remember him for what he was. And that one guy, that was like, that's his, his, uh, I think his, like, 
That's his father died of cancer a couple days ago or a couple weeks ago. I feel you, man. So, uh, sorry if you're lost, dude. Remember them for who they are. That's the best thing we can do, and just continue living in their name. And it was honestly kind of touching to see all the people that um were like, yeah, I, I, I feel you, and all that. Very touching. I, I appreciate all you guys for doing that. Even though it's just words, that sentence means way more than that. those words alone. How? 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 How is this possible? How is that possible? How, the, how is that possible? Okay, I'm gonna have to, like... How am I gonna do this? No, g get back. How am I gonna do this? I mean, technically... Alright, am I gonna have to, like, sort of, like, bend the rules a little? Because this isn't technically using the bow, but it's using the arrow. And bow and arrow is usually in the name, so I guess it counts. And plus, we get practice to see how we are gonna be able to kill these guys. Alright, we just need to go for the next, so kind of do what we did with the rusty weapons video. We just gotta punch him down and then just stab him in the neck. How am I gonna get this guy down? <sighs> okay, so we're gonna have to like... Because to, getting them down with bow bashing ain't gonna do anything. We're just gonna have to hope. Well, what is it? As soon as I get a kill, that's when everyone's alerted? Yep. Oh boy, here we go. The fun part has begun. Okay, no, no, no. Horrible idea. Bad idea. I can't, I can't fight him on level ground. I need to fight. I, I need the high ground. All right, everyone, just chill out for a second. All right, I need to heal up. Pause, pause. Why are you pausing? Oh, 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 they got my friend. That's good, that's good. You're serious, right? Three armored guys? Actually, what I think I can try and do, what I can try and do is, is go inside, upgrade, and get the fire thing, and then I can put it on those really good arrows and just pierce the them and then wait till they burn. I can try that. Oh wait, because it goes like... Oh. oh, wait. If they're on fire, they're able to like pierce through like metal. They can pierce through that. Oh! <laughs> Your time is up, big boy. One at a time. One at a time. And the invasion's over. Jeez, Louise. Shiza Manelli. I got scary there for a second, I won't even lie. Stick your arm on fire! I died? If I had permadeath on just now, oh, I, you don't understand how angry I would have been. Yeah, so I bought the Nissan Rogue. That's it. And Laura says, These rogues are going fast. I knew I had to have that rogue. Wow, using a marketing trick to try and like, sense of urgency, you know, they're gonna be quick if you, you, you better get it. It's like, oh, why would I want to get it? it? They're going quick, though. Yeah, but you haven't told me why I should want it. Yeah, but they're like, I can't tell you if they're gonna if they're gone. Damn, I gotta get this car then. Right control battery low. What does that mean? Can anyone type in the comments and tell me what control battery low means? Don't do that, because I have to figure it out myself. I won't learn if people just tell me the answers. That's what my teachers taught me. What's two plus two? Four. No, 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 I have to figure this out. Respect to teachers, they do. They're taking lesser pay to make sure that you're educated, so they do a lot. Screw the students, though. The students suck wang. That worked? I'm walking on the sunshine. How did I miss? Hey, quit hitting me. What the f- <laughs> Only I can miss a point-blank shot. Aren't you the Reese's guy? Bohemian Rhapsody? Sure. Let's give Frederick Jupiter a try. Hey, 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 hey. We're gonna do this, all right? You and me, we're gonna do this, right? All right, cool. All right, team. Just stay right there, hold them back. Tell them that I wasn't here, okay? They're like, oh, what do I get? Your life. I right, see, this is what I'm talking about. Bohemian Rhapsody starts off real slow. And then, like, right now. 
it's starting to go all, all the way up a tiny bit. To silhouette to a mask, got a moose, got a moose, my neck doing a pound of life. Something pops up like a very, very frightening. Got a lion, got a lion, got a lion, got a lion, got a lion. 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 I'm just a poor boy, nobody loves me. He's just a poor boy from a poor family, sparing his life from this monstrosity. Easy come, easy go, will you let me go? East Villa! No, we will not let you go, let him go! East Villa! We will not let you go, let him go! East Villa! We will not let you go, let him go! We will not let you go, let me go, we will not let you go, let me go, let me go! Ah, oh, oh, no, 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 Mamma mia, mamma mia, mamma mia, let me go, let me go! <laughs> I, can't, I can't do it. <laughs> so it went from real slow to now, ramping up in speed a ton and yeah this is like this eight minute long song like how long is this dude how long is this song how long is this song that's my music theory for the day hope you all enjoy please subscribe if you want to listen to for more music theories hello internet welcome to music theory stop making guy noises how what sorry wrong person <laughs> State Farm is there, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. I don't know if State Farm's even any good, but man, that is a catchy-ass slogan. I mean, I'm gonna make a controversial opinion, but I kind of like the new Jake from State Farm. I mean, the old guy is an absolute chad, but the new guy is a bigger chad in my opinion. I kind of like him. Had to put someone on the moniker for Jake from State Farm. I respect that. I respect their choice for him. Oh my gosh. There we go. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, bom, bom. here comes pain time. Here comes the pain train. Hit me, baby, one more time. Oh, yeah. Is this song implying anything? I sure hope not, because I played this song weirdly a lot in Just Dance 3 for the Wii. That was like my sixth birthday gift for my aunt. It was Just Dance 3, and man, no greater gift exists other than Just Dance back then. If you got Just Dance, you were the coolest kid in class. Easily. You're kidding, right? You're, you're, you're... Restart. You were the coolest kid in school if you had Just Dance. Let me tell you what. Oh, yeah, youngsters. You have no idea with your virtual reality and your AR technology and your emojos, whatever the heck you call them. Back then, we had Just Dance 3 on the Nintendo Wii. You don't even know what a Wii is nowadays, now, do you? Am I like 40 pounds? Why am I so heavy? Oh my gosh. My knees like buckled there. Your butt will pucker there too. <laughs> Unesk, unsafe. <laughs> Unesk, unsafe. Undo. No. Yeah, undo. Oh, please, please, please. Oh. <laughs> I'm still laughing. I'm still laughing. Wait a minute. What's playing? Oh, hell yeah. I'm going to do it. It's Panama playing right now. Wait, 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 wait. We're fine. <laughs> I got so scared. I'm like, wait a minute. I don't have the gravity spell equipped. There's Panama playing right now, so I kind of like, by law, I had to do it. Oh, ho, ho. you're serious. You'd be surprised how often I do that in games like Call of Duty, where I'm like, oh, I'm gonna get him, I'm gonna get him. I'm lining up the shot, and he moves, and then I shoot. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that was the coolest thing. Shut up. Uh, uh, and it's mine now. In fact, as he was going, like, being like, rah, that's when he pretty much exposed himself to me, and then I popped him. Shut up. No English right. Didn't your, didn't your parents ever tell you to be kind? Now, unlike the last two videos, I'm actually going to show you guys how to unlock the, technically, the secret ending, or the true ending. It, re it requires you to do a puzzle, very easy puzzle. But if you mess it up, you will be insta-killed. That's not even a joke. I learned that the hard way by trying this puzzle three different times. 
So this is how you do the secret puzzle to get the secret ending in Blade and Sorcery. First you go over to this wall right here, either climb it or use the gravity spell. Now just keep traversing through this place. Once you're ever going to see the first totem, you are going to take your lightning spell that you have unlocked, and you are going to, in these little holes right here, you're going to put the lightning spell in it. You know you've done it correctly once you hear this sound. Now you're going to have to go all the way over there by either swinging on these lamps or using, once again, the gravity spell. Now once you're over on the second totem, you're going to take your fire spell, you're going to put it in the first hole. It's going to have these little dots right here. So in the first hole with the one dot, put the fire. And then in the two dot and the three dot, put gravity. Now the final totem is right over there. Once again, you can use your gravity spell or go through that hole. Now once you're over here, you can see these three little holes right here. You're going to have to put spells in order. Top of the spell is gravity. Second one is fire. And the third is lightning. You don't go down here. Grab the awesome ass sword. And you have finished the secret ending. Once this effect happens, you can leave. On your feet, soldier, we are leaving! With the sword collected and our asses hauled out of there, we can say yes, you can beat Blade and Sorcery Crystal Hunt with only the bow and arrow. This challenge was way easier than I thought it was going to be. After I got used to the bow and arrow, this challenge was pretty much a test to see if I can just beat the game now. I want to thank Egg Dog for the challenge, this was absolutely a lot of fun, couldn't have done it without you. Hmm. Hey, Baron. So, little funny story, right? So you know the tower? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know the tower over there, Baron? Right? Um, I found this cool sword. How much will you give it for me? You're cheapskate. You know that? If you guys have any more suggestions for any videos in the future, why don't you go ahead and leave them in the comments? And while you're over there, why don't you go ahead and subscribe? Like the video. You don't have to. It's up to you anyway. So. I would have think some along me today's video is currently about 12 p.m. I'm gonna start editing this video soon, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good day.